In this lesson, we're going to take a look at basic extrusions. From our Fusion home screen, we're going to click the little down arrow by new and choose design. Alternatively, we could go up here to the top where it says untitled and we could click there and then it will open a brand new tab for us. Now let's take a look at file structure. So remember from our first video, from video number one, this is our data panel. If it didn't show up for you, remember we can toggle the data panel right here with our hide data panel and our show data panel. Remember, we referred to it as the waffle in previous videos. So it's not there, go ahead and click it. We are going to start a new project. So up here in the teal color, it says new project. So we're gonna click it and let's name it Fusion Essentials. So that will start a brand new project for us. And this is, this is going to be our project folder for this, this video series. So to actually get into the folder, though, I need to remember to double click it. For now, let's go ahead and toggle or hide the data panel. Let's get familiar with Fusion and how to create some basic sketches. First things first, I have got to choose sketch. Now I'm going to choose the sketch plane. Now, if you remember from our previous video, when we did our setup, we did the Y up orientation. Choosing the correct plane up front is a big deal and will set you up for greater success later. This is the XY plane. This is the one we want to use for our front plane. I can also tell because right here, I could go up to the view queue and I can say, well, just give me the front plane. I click the little orange section and that's going to kind of turn it. Notice it says front. Now what I'm doing is I'm clicking and holding the wheel on my mouse and that's panning. What I want to do is choose a circle. So center diameter circle. By the way, almost everything in Fusion has a keyboard shortcut. So I can click that or press C for circle. I'm going to click right here. This is on the origin and that's a, a thing we really want to utilize. I'm going to click there and I'm just going to draw a circle. No particular size right now. We're just going to draw a circle. For now, I've, I'm done. I'm going to go up here and click Finish Sketch. I could click it here, the green check mark. I could click it here. Either one, I'm going to get the same result. As I click this, watch what happens to this top menu here. It's going to change. All right, so I'm clicking Finish Sketch. And now we're in a 3D environment. What I'd like to do is extrude this. And here is the Extrude button. We'll click it. Notice Fusion is pretty intuitive. It says, hey, is this what you want to pick? And it is. Let's go ahead for the extrusion and just make it one inch. Sometimes if you're lucky, Fusion will go ahead and turn on you. It'll be like this in any way. And then you can just drag the arrow. If it's not like it just came to here like it did for me, let's just put a one in there and press enter. Now I can go down here to my orbit or my view cube. Remember, I can click and hold on that and rotate and I can see that I created part of a cylinder. Pretty neat. We've done our first drawing. For now, let's just go ahead and close the tab. And when we do, it's going to prompt us to save. Uh, for this one, we're just going to click don't save. Now we're going to try one more. So you're, you're going to start noticing a pattern here. We're going to go to sketch. So we'll go up here and click create sketch. We're going to choose the same plane. And this time, instead of a circle, I want the rectangle. Now, you notice I'm picking things that are up here. If you have a smaller screen, these may not be showing up. So you can actually click Create. And you can see all kinds of other things you can do here, OK? Rectangle is really where we want to go. And you'll notice the shortcut is R. But here's a two-point rectangle. Make use of that origin. So start here and draw it out. And again, no specific size here, just make a rectangle. And the same process, finish sketch. And notice mine rotated pretty that time. Click the extrude key. Now a shortcut to extrude, you can press the E key and it'll get you straight into extrude. I'm gonna stick with the one inch just to keep a routine. And we'll go ahead and orbit that around. Looking good. All right, now here's the part that we're actually going to get graded today. We're going to go ahead and close this one. The, this one again, we'll just click don't save. For our grade on this one, we're going to go to sketch. We're going to choose that same plane. Now watch this move. We're going to take a circle. 
And I'm going to click right here on the origin. And I'm going to draw the circle out like I did before. However, I haven't clicked yet. Now, right now, my dimension is totally random. It says 2.561. I am going to press 2 on the keyboard and make that exactly 2 inches. And I'll press return. Then I'm going to take another circle it's right up here. I'm going to draw right there from the origin again. And I'm going to draw another circle. But this one is going to be three inches. So before I click again, I'm just going to press three on my keyboard. And there's my circles. So I've effectively made a donut. But you're like, oh, no, you know what I forgot to do on that last one? Let me show you what happens a lot. I Whoops, I just placed it. I didn't give it a dimension. Now, one little foreshadowing here. See how this one's black and it has a dimension? And this one's blue and right now it doesn't have a dimension. Hang on to that thought. We're going to revisit that. Now, I forgot to put it down there. So I've actually, instead of just undoing it and redoing it, I'm going to go right up here to dimension. Okay. And again, if that's not showing up, go to create. And then you can choose sketch dimension down toward the bottom. Notice the D is the shortcut key. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to move my mouse. I've clicked on it. I'm not holding my click. I just clicked to select it and then I'll move my mouse out. And then it's going to tell me, well, that's 3.132. Yes, it's going to keep going. I'm just going to make it three and press enter. Notice the color of that circle has turned black. We're going to finish sketch or a shortcut, just because I know I'm going to extrude, I'm just going to press the E key. That takes me straight into extrude. This time I'm going to click the ring, and I'm going to extrude this to be one inch. Now we're going to pull up the physical properties of it, and that's what we'll show our teacher. So to do that, you go up here to the title of it, which we haven't saved it yet, so it just says unsaved. So we can right click that and we'll go down to where it says properties. It's about halfway down the list. We'll click properties. You may have to scroll down a little bit and you may have to expand. Physical may show up like this. So you may have to expand that. And these are the exact numbers that you need to have to get a perfect score for it. So after you complete the donut, show these numbers to your instructor. After that, go ahead and let's save, expand your data panel. Then up here, you can click save. There's a disk or you can go here and say file and save. For this, let's call this lesson one. Make sure the location says Fusion Essentials and click save. You'll notice now in the data panel after it does save, that file will get updated over here.